this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine mm, Let it shine Hello family! <laughs> oh, happy New Year! Happy New Year! It's today the 4th or the 5th, I don't know, I don't know I've spent the entire like three weeks with like family it's been absolutely amazing and and for those of you who are wondering I've spent so much time playing Fortnite that um, I am now a Fortnite king like I'm the best like don't come at me with that Fortnite stuff because I'll show you flames I can do the Fortnite thing what's happening here there we go so so um happy new year from the seychelles hey francis um happy new year to, to you in the seychelles i'm going to be in the seychelles i think in april i think in april uh i own a company i'm a shareholder in a company that's uh that's got a license from the seychelles so we've got a board meeting i think in april so it'd be great to to meet you and you know have a have a coffee or something but anyway the reason for my going live is because i feel something in my spirit <laughs> there's this um there's this comedian on IG, um Wayne. He always says, let it sizzle in your spirit. I, I feel something in my spirit that I gotta share with y'all. I just felt the need to share it with y'all and bring it to the church, you know, let the church know what I'm feeling in my spirit today. Just let you know that it's important for you to take your life forward like this. <laughs> Alright, if I'm acting the fool, it's the pre-workout. I'm on my way to gym. But check it out, check it out. So, <laughs> somebody says square up. <laughs> I see you, I see you. All right, so, so here's the thing I wanted to share with you. Here's the thing I wanted to share with you. I realized something the other day, and it, it's been an epiphany for me. And I want to share it with you because I think it's such a powerful um, understanding, uh, wisdom. It's a piece of insight that if you apply it in your life, can actually be hugely instrumental in how you live this year, right? Because it's a new year. And as human beings, what we do every new year is we come up with a set of things we are resolved to do. We call these things resolutions. And we spend the rest of the year trying to achieve these resolutions. And somewhere in the middle, we lose them. My son is watching this. Hey, Bunny. <laughs> Bonnie, tell everybody that daddy is the best at Fortnite. Tell everybody. <laughs> All right, so, so here's the thing I'm trying to tell you guys. Here's the thing I'm trying to tell you guys. So these resolutions that we make, right? We are resolved to do these things, but a lot of us somewhere along the way get disheartened trying to achieve these things. And I've been thinking a bit about why do we get disheartened trying to, to achieve these things? Like what happens along the way and I think a lot of it is frankly because people say things to us that offend us. Human beings are strange in, this, in the sense that we are social creatures, right? We, we exist in society, we live in communities. We, the way human beings have survived for millions of years on this little rock on the, plan, on the, on the Milky Way called Earth is we've gathered ourselves in these things called groups first we were a family then we were a clan then we became a tribe then the tribe became you know a kingdom the kingdom became an empire the empire became the nation state but what human beings do is we pull ourselves into groups so we survive a lot like zebras in that way in the sense that we we you know we morph ourselves into this little group identity and so when people ask you who you are your identity is framed by the identity of the group. Do you guys hear that? Your identity is framed by the identity of the group. So if I say to you, for instance, I'm an African, there are things that you deduce from that. If I say to you, I'm black, there are things you deduce from that. If I say to you, you know, I am a heterosexual male, or, or as the, the old popular expression used to say, a red-blooded male, right? There are things you deduce from that too. But here's the, the point I wanted to make to you. The problem with thinking like this is that it also frames how you feel about yourself when other human beings say things about you that are not great. And I don't care who you are, but if you're on your way somewhere in life, not everybody's gonna like you. You're not pizza. You're not the US dollar. Not everybody's gonna like you. So 
So a part of existing in life then, a part of making a success of your life is about knowing that what people say about you is not a reflection of you. But check this out. If people say things about you, why do you feel offended? Remember, and this is what I love about the English language, is it says, I take offense. It doesn't say you give offense, which means somebody can say whatever they want to say, but at the end of the day, it's up to you to be offended by it. You take the offense, they can't give you the offense. Does that make sense? So why do we take offense? Guys, I've been thinking about this and it's had me going crazy. Check this out. I think we get offended because deep down inside, the things people say reflect how we feel about ourselves. Mm. Mm. That's so powerful. I'm going to pause there for a minute and just let that sizzle in your spirit. I think we get offended because the things people say are a reflection of how we feel about ourselves. And so actually the reason most of us get offended is because we feel exposed. Somebody says something, somebody who's never met you says something about you and you feel angry because you feel like they just dug a hole so deep in your soul, went right into the pit of your soul, into the deep recesses of traumas of the past that you had long hoped to have forgotten. And they pulled out a truth about you that you feel about you, that you haven't had the courage to confront about yourself. And they put that truth out there on a Twitter timeline or a Facebook comment. And all of a sudden that just hits you deep down. That's why you get offended. So the trick then, and this is the point, I'm about to go heavy this year. You all thought you knew Vusi? You have no fucking clue what I'm about to do. <laughs> this year, like if you didn't like me in the past, I'm gonna give you a million times the reasons to the power of a thousand. Multiply that by 50 million not to like me this year because I'm about to go God damn hard. Because my agreement, I realized, my agreement is between me and God. It's got nothing to do with anybody else. So why do I care what everybody thinks? Like it's of no consequence what they think. At the end of the day, when I'm no longer a fleshy human being and I move on to heaven, it's only my Father, my Lord God, my Creator to whom I'm going to be accountable. To nobody else am I going to be accountable. So who cares what people think? And so, I'm coming out guns blazing, coming in hot, 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 <laughs> So, so, when people say things about you that you don't appreciate, recognize that all those people are doing is reflecting to you insecurities, traumas, pasts, hurts that you just haven't dealt with. The work to be done then is not to quieten the critic, the work to be done is to deal with your traumas. You gotta do the work on you. Forget other people. You have to do the work on you. So I was thinking about this and then I started, you know, and I woke up this morning and I had that song, this little light of mine, I wanna let it shine. And I realized the reason the song says, let the light shine is because what the song is actually trying to say to you is never ever let somebody else dim your light. Never, ever, ever let somebody else dim your light. It's not worth it. That's your light, that's your gift to the world. And your gift to the world is what you are bringing to the world. What you do with that gift is your gift to God. So never ever give somebody else the permission to let your light be dimmed. Ah, Bazalon, I'm on fire. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, uh, let it shine. <laughs> I'm actually auditioning for Boys to Men, y'all. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be an amazing year. I'm looking forward to 2022. Bring it out, guys. Bring out the best. Bring out the guns. Bring it all out. It's going to be a bumper of a year. Somebody has said to me, please save this live. You better believe I'll save it. All right, everybody. I'm on my way to doing some things and lifting some weights. So. Have a good day. Take it easy. Sayonara.